Say that again. I said I don't need the extra weight in my body, so I'm gonna get it all out. <laughs> and it's the nervous. What's the piece. most? It's the nervous piece. <laughs> yeah. What's the mes- most memorable moment from uh, this week? For me, it was probably days. the snatch. That for me was like a big milestone of hitting, and I've hit 295 a few times, and it's always just been so close at 300. And I think to be able to hit it under the lights and like capture that setting like max was always like save it for the competition save it for the competition and to be able to actually like hit it trusting my jumps where i was going the numbers i was going to try to do and then just see what everybody else in the field kind of hit and then made a last minute decision instead of going 295 to go to 300 and then along with 12 other people apparently that can snatch 300 pounds now um (laughs) It, uh, that, that for me was like something that I've worked a lot on over the past few years of like getting that movement specifically dialed in and to be able to do that was, uh, I was pretty pumped up about that. Travis, I mean, that, for how tall me, are you? For me, yeah, seven, seven. Go ahead. Sorry, Brian. Watching that snatch, the last heat of the snatch <laughs> workout at home was, I mean, it was crazy because not, you know, not every guy hit 300, but I feel like even the guys that didn't like hit the number they wanted. Like I think 285 was a big deal for Medeiros and a couple other guys in that yeah. hit, heat, like hit the number that was like, if everything goes perfectly, I want this lift. And it literally seemed like every guy did that. What was it? What was the energy on the floor at that point? I mean, so I just tried not to watch anybody like I can hear. And I was like, just stay focused on like actually hitting this. So what I told myself was to not watch anybody. Um, so Max was like straight behind me, writing everybody's lifts down, like saying, go up or go, to whatever the number kind of was. And I originally, after I hit 285 through 295 on, and then I hear the crowd and I can like see, I saw Ben Smith had 300 and I was like, I, then you hear the crowd roar and I was like, okay, so he hit it. And then like apparently four other people in my same lane had 300 on the bar. And I look back at Max and I said, go for it. And he's like, can you hit it? And I just kind of shrugged my shoulders. I'm like, I don't know. I've never hit it before. Um, so I literally threw two and a halfs on. And then when they were like lift, I just ripped it and stuck it. But I mean, it was pretty, everybody was screaming. It was a, it was a good feeling uh, to be able to hit that, like in that moment. When did you know you were going to stand up with it? Did you know right away? No, you know, what's funny is I feel like I blacked out for the whole thing. Cause I don't remember any of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like don't remember any of it i just know i was like all right get set get set and i pulled and the next thing i know i like it almost felt like i opened my eyes and i was like standing up and then i just screamed and threw the bar down um Damn. but like in the moment i feel like i don't even remember it like i got done and i looked at max i was like i have no clue what just happened <laughs> well i just i just have even to when say, you watch the video back now you don't remember it i mean bits and pieces I mean, not really. Like, I remember catching in the bottom and, like, feeling the bar start to press down on my right side and just fighting with everything I had. And then I, like, looked up, and then everybody was standing, and then I just threw the bar down. It was very weird. (laughs) Brian, what's the legality if he would have put it two and a half pounds more on one side and gone gone for 302.5? Is that the smallest fractional there is? No, they didn't Uh, have any Two and a half were the small oh. they had. So you only could go up five pound jumps. So there was nothing smaller than that. So could but but, but five pound jumps would be two and a half pounds, right? Yeah, but it would two have to be on both sides. You couldn't just put it on one side? Yeah. So oh, like if I went five and then one two and a half on one side. What if you yeah. did it on accident? What would they have counted? Yeah, I don't know. But, so you have seven point point five on the <laughs> <laughs> what made me think about that is, is that you specifically said you felt it in your right side. So maybe if your left side's stronger, that's a that's a tactic to use at the games. Yeah, to just I yeah, but I feel like the games they give us smaller plates sometimes when we get max lifts. But I'll keep that in mind. I'm gonna remember that next time. So when I go out on the floor, I'll just sneak one plate on the inside of the left side. And then say you did through. I mean, is it legal? Can you do that? Have you ever? Has, what are the rules on that? People have done it know? on accident in competition before, but I'm not actually sure what they scored. Didn't Alice, Alessandra Pacelli happen to her, and she went from winning the event to getting second at the event one year? I think I think I'm remembering. I, well, right. I want to hear a story where someone won the event doing that. I think she had won the event. I, I'm pretty sure this is right, and then they realized. I feel only... like it's the other way around. Like people are lifting it 
and they think it's one weight, but it's less than what they're ideally going for. So when they enter it, it's wrong. I feel like that's what's happened, not ideally going up <laughs> and saying, I did hit 302.5 versus 300. <laughs> Yeah, he's right. I was I was watching the event, and obviously I had a, I when when I was a football fan, I, wa I watched just Raider games and Niner games, and when I was a basketball fan, I just watched Laker games. So I wasn't really a basketball fan or a football fan. I was yeah. a fan of the teams. And when I was watching the games, I just wanted to see this year the semifinals. I just wanted to see the heats you were in, and Love I mean it. I did watch some t teams and stuff, but I really Love just wanted it. to see your events, and I. I I was really surprised at how much, how little screen time you, Ben Smith, and Scott Panchik got. Welcome, it was like welcome, welcome to my world of the media. Well, Travis, um, can I? I mean, you're the I... best looking dude out there. I mean, you had your shirt on. That's a fuck up on your part. Yeah, you I'll take some of the blame what? for that. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel hey, like, dude, I... if I went to the zoo and they had a sweater on the giraffe, I'd ask for my fucking money back. <laughs> Because I went there to see his fucking neck. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, come All on, right. man. I'll remember that. How about this? I'll be sure at most events of the games, I'll rock it with the shirt off now. But other than that, I mean, it, 